The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. And weather on that side of the region has generally stayed cloudy but dry. But further towards the west, we do have some severe thunderstorms this evening. The further towards the east one moving through Bland and Giles County lasts until 7 p.m. But to zoom into the one further towards the west, that lasts until 6.30. And it's starting to lose a little bit of its energy. It did have some purples here and there showing up. But at this point, the rainfall rates have eased off. Some are turning more into red, spreading out. Even a lot of yellows and greens showing up within the warning itself. So starting to calm down. Meanwhile, the one that's a little bit further towards the east still has some energy to go with it. Lightning strikes are a little bit more concentrated. Still some reds showing up on the rainfall. It's moving generally south. But there's a little bit of a southwest component as well. So if you're towards uh, Bland County High or a little bit further west as well, I would expect that rainfall to head that direction pretty soon. Meanwhile, lighter showers are spreading south towards Mechanicsburg. The Storm Prediction Center has that very western edge of the NRV technically in a level one risk. There's some chance for development out there, so it goes to show that it can pop up. Meanwhile, the rest of us are saying pretty well outside of that risk level for today. Over the next couple of hours, especially once the sun sets, there's not going to be heat for these storms to work with. So then we're just going to have some showers here and there through 8 p.m. We're looking mostly dry. There's not a lot left over as we get past 10 p.m. And then going into tomorrow, we have a good amount of cloud cover for the first part of the day. But as the day continues, those clouds will start to ease off. Not much left over as we get a little bit past the sunrise on Monday. With the extra sunshine that we have, Monday's able to warm up pretty nicely. The NRV is stuck in the 70s there. Highlands gets 280 though, and Roanoke, Lynchburg, and Southside all making it into the low 80s, staying pretty close to average for this time of year. On Tuesday, our temperatures will bump even higher. NRV adds a couple of degrees. Lynchburg pushes up towards 85. We're not going to be quite that warm for the days ahead, but still we'll hold on to quite a bit of heat and feel very much like we do on average in June as we go through this first full week of the month. Winds are going to stay calm for the first part of Tuesday, and they Stay calm through Monday as well. It's just Tuesday afternoon that they pick up some gusts are still under 20 miles per hour, so the winds aren't crazy. Just know that they're going to be there. We say pretty dry for both Monday and Tuesday as well. Now we've stayed pretty dry today, but even Monday and Tuesday look more consistently dry than the little pieces that we have further towards the west. It takes until Wednesday for shower chances to really come back, and I do think Wednesday showers are a little bit more robust than what we've got on Thursday. Higher rainfall totals more likely on Wednesday, but both days are pretty light. For Friday we dry out and I think we stay dry into Saturday as well. Even shower chances early next week look pretty light until we get a couple of days into it. Most of us overnight will fall back down to the 50s. Blacksburg at 53, Alta Vista at 55, but it's a very slow cool down. Most of us are pretty consistently in the 60s until we get past midnight and then just dipping down for an hour or two into the 50s for the temperatures for our lows. On Monday, we get back to around 80 degrees with Roanoke at 82, Pulaski at 79, and Alta Vista at 81. On the extended forecast, temperatures do fall down quite a bit on Wednesday as our clouds come in. That's going to keep us in the 70s, and then we bump up a little bit on Thursday with some extra sunshine there, but not by very much. We hold pretty close to average as we get into the end of the week. Even Saturday, we get a little bit above average with some showers on Sunday.